Um, so this is just a quick post on how we cut up the blocks when we first get the pieces of wood. So you can see here, this is a giant piece of, this is actually oak. Um, it probably weighs two or 300 pounds. Hard to know when they get that heavy. Um, so just moving it around is really hard. We try and process them in the field wherever we find the wood. So we're not having to move around this size stuff, but it's a good example for the video where we start with. So we have this board that's got marks on it and tells us how big the blocks need to be for cutting a helmet out of. So this one's already been cut down the middle. Um, and what I'll do is come along and find a spot in the grain that I like and trace that out. And this leaves me lines that I can cut with a chainsaw. And obviously I want to you know, follow it straight down. So I'd put lines down in here too once these two pieces are split so I can follow it down, make it a nice even block. Um, and before I show you what happens with the blocks, you can see here these cracks here. Um, so there's no cracks on the outside. If you look on the outside here, there's not much cracking going on the periphery of the, of the wood. It's mostly here, and that's because this part of the wood is called end grain. And from here, um, the wood dries really fast. Um, but from here, the wood does not dry very fast. And so since it dries differentially, you get um, different forces acting against each other, and, and eventually something has to give, and that's what gives you get these cracks here. Um, that's what you can see in the helmet sometimes. They have small check marks. Um, so to reduce that or eliminate that, we seal that end come over here you'll see each block gets painted with several layers of, uh, of paint or some sort of sealant to reduce the amount of breathing that the, that the wood can do in this direction um, so that it's pretty it evens out the drying process and keeps the block pretty free of cracks hopefully um, that's not always totally possible it's really hard with pieces of wood this thick and then um, I'm leaving them out right now because it's starting to be nice out but in the winter, everything gets stacked underneath there, and so there's still stuff that I'll probably look at bringing out into the sun once the summer comes. And that's it. Um, yeah, thanks for checking out the post. Hopefully that was interesting. And um, just keep an eye out for other posts.